Hi everyone, so this is the first Statsy pack that we're going to work on. Um, so it's part one, it's all to do with data representation. I'm not entirely certain how the lessons are going to go, if it'll be two or three lessons. It might be quite theory heavy. So we'll give it a go and see how it goes. There. So it says, is average here? So we've got three samples below. Um, from different classes show five marks for an assessment. Right, so then let's have a look at this. So I've got three sets of data. Now, if you look at the data, the average for each of these, so the average we use as x bar is six. If you add them up and divide by five, all of them should be six. And I use x bar for the average. Now at school you've done the range, haven't you? So if you look at the range, I've got 12 take naught is 12. I've got the range here as 8 take 4 is 4. And here, I've got 6 takes 6, which is 0. So there's that, like, if you look at that data, it's all got the same average, but it's really, really spread out. So we need to take that into account, we need to think about that while we're working with it. It all has to be done thinking about the actual, what the actual data means for us. So it says, measure a spread used to describe the variability in a sample of population. Um, so we've got range, which you've done. Into quartile range, you should have done that as well. But these are the two that you haven't done, or potentially have done at school, but were taken off the GCSE spec a few years ago. Uh, so it says here, the standard deviation measures the average difference of the data set from the mean. So on average, how far away from the average is the data? Now, hopefully, you've seen um, this formula. So x bar, that's the mean. Sum of x, that's add up all your data items. Add them all up. And n is the number, oops, that's supposed to be p, the number of data items. So when you did the average, you just added them up and divided by the number of numbers. Well, that's exactly what you do here. Well, this is a proper formula. You might never have seen this. Once again, it, it, well, it's on the GCSE, but not many people do it. So, We've got a measure of spread, which is standard deviation. And we've got another one, which is variance. If I square root the variance, I get the standard deviation. So the same idea with the range. The bigger the standard deviation, the wider spread your data is. Uh, what we want is small standard deviations. Right, so we need to use our calculators. And I'm going to slightly change what this is really. Um, hang on, let me try and get the calc up. Where's my calc gone? Oh, I'm going to pause because I've not put my calc on. Right, I'm back with you. So on your calculator, if you go into menu 2, or statistics, so I've done menu 2. Now it says to enter your data into list 1. Oh. Maybe I should read it there. I can't put my numbers in. This is a faff, isn't it? Keeps thinking he wants to go. Oh, it's going to do it full screen. No, it's not. Right, let's try it again. So, in list one, I'm going to do three, exit, 
2, axis 7, axis 6, axis 4, axis uh, 9, 5, 12. There. And then it says, so put my numbers in, oops, put my numbers in, put my numbers in, put my numbers in, there, put my numbers in. Then it says, so enter the data into list one, then F2 for calc, F6 for set. Now then, does yours look like that? That works for raw data. So what I want you to do, I don't like this saying one. I want it to say list two. So if I go down here to this one, I'm going to press F2, and I'm going to press 2. And it now says list 1, list 2, list 1, list 2, 1. And that sets it up as a frequency table. What I need to do now, though, is just go back and put 1s. So I put a 1, because it's one of them. So I'm doing it like a frequency table. Because to be fair, it's more often you'll get table data than raw. And if you're faffing about trying to remember to change it over, you might as well go with that. So this is kind of like this bit here where it says list two. Uh, that's what you want. So then if I do F1 for one there, it gives me information. So it tells me that X bar was six. But I actually I know that the sum of x, uh, sorry, x bar is the sum of x over n. So I know that x bar would be 48 divided by 8. So x bar is, oh, x bar is 6. So I can use the, the summary stats that I've got. Sigma x, so the one that says like sigma x, hang on. So I move it over there without it. Shut it. Oh, it's going to do it full screen. No, it's not. That, is the population standard deviation on well as the S X on the calculator is a sample standard deviation. The exam mark scheme doesn't matter which one you use, but we tend to use that one for the population. Uh, oops, I need the sigma from there, don't I? So I'm going sigma is 3.08. The smaller that value, the more consistent the data is. Right, so then I've got another one now. So for this one, remember from school, you've got to put the midpoints in. So I've got a midpoint of 70. Uh, 85, 95, and 125. So I get my calc up again now, and press an exit, and then if I press down, it takes me to the top of the top, and I'm just going to move over to there. If I just press delete those, it just removes the numbers. Right then, so I'm going to go 70, uh, move that down there. Let's say 85, let's say 95, let's say 125, let's say go across to list two, so I've got 8, 8, 7, 10. And then F1 for one there, and it tells me uh, that X bar, move it over a bit is 95.61 and sigma is 21.17. And I'm running out of time there. There's a question for you at the bottom. So you have a go at that one. I will reveal it. Make sure you're okay. Okay, see you later.